I would say definitely coming into this game, we knew what happened there and we knew that we knew that that's not what should have happened. Um, so when we came out this game, we were just really focused and we had a lot of, I would say we had a lot of confidence going into it and energy. And, you know, when you lose, you always, when you get to replay the team that beat you, you always want to come out extra hard. Thanks, Tiana. Next, we'll go to Mike Curtis from Syracuse.com. Hey, Tiana, congrats on the win. Thanks. Um, you used two triples early in the fourth quarter to kind of give your team a 71-68 lead, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what did you see out there on those back-to-back -back triples, and um, why do you think it was important to get your teammates involved for the rest of the way? Well, I think one triple was like kind of in my Ava had gotten the steal and then I hit the kind of transition three. Um, I just saw no one was in front of me and I heard Coach Q on the side. He was like, knock it down. And so like, I just shot it. And then um, I forgot the other one, but I don't know. I just felt like I was open. And then after that, they had to like kind of guard me closer to me and I knew like Kiki was back cutting a lot. Camilla was rolling to the rim really hard and you know it just helped the whole team overall get that win. Thanks Tiana. Next we'll go to Josh St. Croix from the Watertown Daily Times. Hi Tiana. Um, obviously a big fourth quarter for you and uh, team wise overall. Um, how would you just describe your mindset going into the fourth and, and how were you able to so quickly, um, you know, erase that six point deficit? Going into the fourth, I was like, oh my gosh, like I was stressed. Um, but I just knew that I had to try to come out and help my team. You know, we all can do so much and we have so much depth and just to get everybody involved, you know, like I love when a lot of us have a lot of points, like, just when everyone contributes, the whole team is happy. So like, and that's what I always try. Like, I just want that to be like that all the time. Thanks, Tiana. Next, we'll go to Mark Larson from Spectrum News. Tiana, congratulations. Um, after that fourth quarter performance, uh, I think you accounted for 24 of the 27 points. Safe to say you're back? Yeah. <laughs> um. Kind of, maybe, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm where I used to be. Of course, like, I still feel like there's so much more improvement. Today was a good game for me. Um, but the past games, like, I really need to control my turnovers. Um, but today, I was glad that I could do that because, yeah, that's one area that I'm working on. All right, we'll go with that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Tiana. Next, we'll go to Patrick Gunn from 247 Sports. Hey, Tiana, great job in the win today. I mean, you just kind of said it about the turnovers, cutting that down today. Um, what are you, I mean, it seems like the last two games that you coming out of the break, you guys have been focusing on passing and sharing the ball. How has mm -hmm. that translated from the practice to here? And how have you seen that going? How important is that going into a game against Louisville? It's so important. And Coach Q emphasizes that before every game about sharing the ball moving the ball, getting the defense to move from one side of the court to the other side. And I think coming from that break helped us realize that that's what we need to do to win. We need everybody. Everyone needs to contribute. And yeah, I agree. Like at practice, we have been doing four out and like we move the ball really fast around and like we've been shooting a lot, which is why I feel like we've been shooting really well. Uh, just, you know, just as a team, we've just been really good at sharing the ball and playing together as a team. Thanks, Tiana. We'll take our final question from Thomas Schultz of the Daily Orange. Hey, Tiana. Obviously, uh, Camilla, Emily, and Priscilla were all great on the glass today. What was different rebounding-wise today versus your first game against UNC? Um, I think in this game, I can't remember, to be honest. I try to, like, not think about the past and just move forward. But um, I think the first game, we didn't play as much man. I think this game, we matched up a lot. So that really took away 
um, Janelle Bailey, like being able to get into the lane and rebound because we had, we knew we had to box her out. So I think that definitely helped us um, with set up and zone and then match up a lot. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say like, I'm super proud of my team, like this team and I'm really happy for all of us. Everyone contributed really well and I'm excited to play Louisville on Thursday. Diana, thank you very much and wish you all the best at Louisville. Thank you. Thanks.